Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I'm continuing on my quest to get all the Power Play modules and take a quick review of them. Today, it's the turn of Yuri Grom, and Yuri Grom is an independent. Now, Yuri Grom, when you're assigned to him for four weeks, will allow you to get the Containment Dumbfire Missile. Now, this is, as you can guess, a Dumbfire Missile that will, when you strike your target, force them to reboot their FSD for a period of time. But is it any good? How does it compare to other Dumbfire missiles? How do you unlock it? So who is Yuri Grom? Well, Yuri Grom is a self-proclaimed dictator of the EG pilots and an independent faction based out of Yur Yale that formed from a breakaway elements of the Federation. And he also has a passing resemblance to Brian Blessed, don't you think? Either way, Grom led the EG pilots, then only a minor faction, after they split from the Federation, to victory in the dangerous games of 3302, establishing himself as a major power on the galactic stage. Major power may be a bit strong here. Either way, Grom began his rise to prominence as an admiral in the Federal Navy, but retired after becoming disillusioned with the pervasive corruption of the Federation, and where we heard that before. His departure had coattails, as a number of Federal pilots fiercely loyal to him also resigned and helped him create the EG pilots. The Federation do view him as a traitor. Now, you align yourself for four weeks to Yuri Grom, and you're going to unlock yourselves the containment missile. Containment missile is a bit of a mixed bag. It's dumb fire, so you've got to get up pretty close before you unleash your missile load. To achieve the FSD effect, they've generally got a lower yield on them anyway. The rack has a lower rate of fire at 66% compared to what you get from a standard rack, and the damage per second overall is 53% of a comparable Class 2 dumb fire missile rack as well. Shields on your target will not prevent them from this effect, however, though it will protect them from physical damage. So for the maximum effect here, wear the shields down, beam lasers, then unleash with the Dumbfire missile rack. A point defense turret on your target will also shoot down these missiles. Now, the FSD effect is not cumulative and can only be applied every 29 seconds to your target when triggered with a successful strike. The target's FSD then has to reboot for 17 seconds. After that, the target's FSD must spend a minimum of 4 seconds charging for a low wake. So really, you're buying yourself 21 seconds? Um, you've got to ask yourselves, where could this possibly be useful? Anyway, the containment missile's FSD disruption effect can be replicated on standard dumbfire missile racks with the FSD interrupt experiment effect, but the reboots caused by this are shorter in duration. So short, really. I mean, I didn't even know that existed until I had done this video. So as mentioned, the statistics for this missile are as follows. It's got a mass of 4 tons, integrity of 51, a power draw of 1.2 megawatts, and a damage of 40. Distributor draw is at 0.24, armor piercing of 60, shot speed at 100 meters per second, and a rate of fire of 0.3. Okay, clip size 12, maximum ammo 48, reload time 5 seconds, and the damage type is explosive. And it's a fixed-based weapon. It's a dumb fire missile. So I thought I'd then go and superimpose some of the stats for a standard containment rocket as well. Picture in picture, you can see the module stats for a standard 2B standard missile rack. So the mass is the same, the integrity is the same, you know, the power draw is the same. Damage on a standard rack is 50, where it's 40 on the containment missile rack, we knew as much. Armor piercing is still the same. Shot speed, still the same. Rate of fire on the standard rack is 0.5, so it's quicker. Ammo clip size is the same. Reload time is the same as well. So, what are you gaining other than the effect to potentially disrupt someone's frameshift drive 
and cause less damage. Well, not really that much. Let's compare it against some Packhounds, another power play missile module. Now I'm only really making this comparison because it's another missile product of power play. They're completely different sets of missiles. The Packhounds you can see there on the right hand side, higher mass, higher in well, same integrity, higher power draw, the damage. You know, you get multiple missiles, all right? So, you know, damage is less. Okay, we got shot speed, 500, 600 meters per second. So it's less than the 750 meters per second of the containment missile. But they're a lot more fun to use and a lot more benefit. The ammo clip size is 21, so that's an increase. And the maximum ammo of these pack hounds you can shoot off at 200. What am I saying here, really? Well, what I'm saying is, is you're probably better off going over to Yi Yong Ri and unlocking pack hounds than you are assigning yourself to Yuri Grom. Either way, though, if you decided to go down this route, you might have a need to disable people's FSDs. I don't know. I mean, these models might come into their own if you can put an experimental effect on them, like drag munitions. Um, that would probably make them a little bit easier, I suppose, to, to handle in a fight. I took them out into um, a conflict zone and had very sort of like mixed effects with them as well. Okay, I wasn't rocking around in the most powerful ship, as you can imagine, um, but getting up close and getting... A dumbfire missile to hit is a knack in itself. So if I was going to do anything with it, I would probably then engineer it up and put drag munitions on it as well. So not only would you shut down the FSD, but you would also cut their thrust, giving you time to open up with some more tastier weapons. All that's well and good though, but how do you unlock these containment missiles? They mentioned unlocking containment missiles, you need to be aligned to Yuri Grom, the independent, for four weeks. Once you align yourself to four weeks, and then you deliver enough merits, 750 merits, to one of his outposts, for example, um, you will be then rated at rating three. At rating three, you can then unlock this power play module. Get off a nice big fat ship like a Type 9, strip it all down so you can maximize the amount of cargo and get some materials from the power contact. I jet myself over to the main base of the particular power play contact and pick up materials there and deliver them to whether it's um, an underground support organization or whether it's um, intelligence or what have you. I tend to go directly to the main source his seat of power, and then pick a system that needs pledging or expansion. So once you pick up all these materials, and you'll need 750 of those, and you can buy them in blocks of 10, after every 10 you can either wait 30 minutes, or you can pay 100,000 credits to expedite the process. It's time to load up that good old Type 9 of yours and get yourself over to a particular system. Now, I've got to the point where I've got 770. Why have I got 770, I hear you say? Well, in case I get attacked and someone takes out my cargo rack, I've still got a little bit to play with. You can go into preparation, like I tend to do, and make sure I can view it on the map, see how far it is, if it's within my jump range, which for this ship it typically is. I've got one stop on the way through, won't take me too long, and I can deliver all the materials to the power play contact at that particular location. Once there, at that power play contact, you can just press the button and deliver all your materials or your merits to that particular power play contact for Yuri Grom. That will then qualify you for when the system ticks over every Thursday to access the containment missile. It's as simple as that. The most laborious thing is waiting for Thursday and wishing your life away so you can get this, what I would typically say, mediocre missile with limited range, limited attack ability, limited damage, uh, mediocre effects you could have on a ship, if you engineer it, I suppose, but other than that, I wouldn't bother. I would typically go out and get yourself some pack hounds, but some people might like it, and as a result of which, you know, it's horses for courses. 
Once you've got to rating 4 into explosive munitions and you can see rocket propelled containment missiles on the second row down, a 2B module and like I say, dumb fire missiles. Hope you've enjoyed this video on how to unlock the containment missile or the rocket propelled containment missile from Yuri Grom. We've had a little bit of lore about Yuri Grom. We've had a little bit of a breakdown on what I think about the containment missiles and what the possibilities and advantages are for them and they are quite slim. We've compared them against other 2B dumbfire missile racks and also packhounds. In short, my opinion is go for the packhounds. They're more spectacular anyway and you'll feel you've actually got something out of the game at this stage. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so.